One of the biggest mistakes you can make in crypto is leaving your cryptocurrency on an exchange. It's time to get the money off your exchange and into a wallet that you control. After all, not your keys, not your crypto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Tezos off of an exchange like Coinbase and into a wallet that you control. We're gonna set up Temple Wallet together so you can see what it's like to create your own wallet where you're the custodian of it, where you can also delegate your Tezos to earn passive income. Let's get started. This is the Temple Wallet website. We've chosen Temple Wallet because it's one of the wallets that I tend to like the most. I use it as a browser extension, just like MetaMask. It works really well for me. It plugs into every website. I like the signing features. And so this is my favorite. So if you wanna use my favorite, Temple Wallet's the way to go. Most wallets are pretty much the same, but either way, we're gonna use Temple today. So let's go ahead and get started. TempleWallet.com is where you wanna go. Then we're gonna hit install now. Choose the browser that you use the most. I use Google Chrome, so I'm gonna hit install and then we're gonna add it to Chrome. Allow it to add the extension, and it's gonna go ahead and load. Now, what you'll see is, if you click this little jigsaw puzzle piece, you can see all the extensions you have added onto Chrome. Temple Wallet right now um, has been given access, and so we need to choose what we wanna do. Do we wanna import an existing wallet from a seed phrase, or do we wanna create a new wallet? Most of you are gonna create a new wallet, but there's a few of you who might want to import an existing wallet. The only way you can import an existing wallet is if you have your 12 word recovery phrase. That's what we have to use, your seed phrase. Either way, today we're gonna to focus on creating a new wallet. Let me show you the steps that are involved. Click on create new wallet and come up with a password. So we are gonna do YouTube demo, one, two, three star. Okay, we hit accept, we're gonna hit new. So this is where you get to the seed phrase. The seed phrase is protected. The seed phrase is something that you never, ever, ever wanna to show to somebody. If somebody has this seed phrase, they can use it, they can log into your wallet just by recovering it on that last screen and send and receive money. And so you don't ever wanna screenshot this, store it on anything online, or put it ever in front of a camera or something that can photograph it. So what I like to do is I like to use a piece of paper and I will write down the seed phrase twice on two different sheets of paper. And then I will split those pieces of paper up and put one at one location and one at the other. That way I have a backup in case my house ever burns down and whatnot. Now, if you wanna go one step further, you can hammer these into metal. I made a YouTube video on that. I'll link it above if you wanna check it out. Otherwise, make sure it's written down. So I clicked on this seed phrase part and it revealed my key or my seed phrase. And this is what gives you the control over the crypto wallet. This is what allows you to send the money in and out and have control. And so it's very, very important you don't share it with anybody ever. Never, never, never. Okay, so once you have these 12 words written down, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my piece of paper right now. Once you have them written down, we can move forward. Okay, once you're done backing up your seed phrase, like I have mine written down right here. Never do that, by the way. Go ahead and click the box that says I made a seed phrase backup and you're gonna hit next. And now you're gonna to have to type in the words to verify that you did it. And that's why we wrote it down. A new critic and then word nine comes after scan is gonna be vibrant. This tells Temple Wallet that you have written down your seed phrase. We don't want them to track. Uh, this is right here, it's just a placeholder. It tells you the different steps to the onboarding process. So step one, this is your address right here. And then this is your Tezos balance. In the address, they're always gonna show you the first characters and the last characters. That way you can make sure the beginning and the end match. So you know it's your Tez address. Let's hit next. So in order to start, you basically um, use this seed phrase to create a wallet on the blockchain. And now that you have a wallet on the blockchain, you can send Tezos to it. So in order to send Tezos to our new wallet, what we do is we go into our Coinbase account, we click send, and then we copy our address from our Temple wallet and literally send the currency from Coinbase to our new wallet. Let's hit next. You can also collect tokens and collectibles and they're available to see in this wallet. It's another reason why I like Temple Wallet. And you can also set up multiple profiles. So if you want different Tezos wallets for different functions, maybe you have a business, maybe you have an NFT business, and maybe you have your personal wallet, you can manage all of that from one simple location. I think it's really cool. This is the congratulations page. We have our wallet set up. Boom, here it is. Now you can see that you can edit the account name and this is gonna be our YouTube test account. We'll save it. And then we have our Tezos address. By clicking on the Tezos address, you can copy it and then you could go over to like your Coinbase, paste it and send the address there. Um, you would click this button to receive if you wanna see your QR code. You can also copy your own address to your clipboard. Remember, that's how you send Tezos to yourself. You wanna send it from your Coinbase or your KuCoin or your Binance account to this address that you've just started. Um, in order, if you wanna buy it, you can. 
You can have uh, Bitcoin. You can transfer. You can enter the exchange details if you want. So if you have another cryptocurrency that you want to swap, you can do that. DApps is really cool. DApps is where you can go in and you can click on places like object.com or object, yeah, object.com, calament.io. These are NFT marketplaces and they plug right in to your temple wallet. So you can see right here, I'm already connected. Then right here, you can just hit connect and then you would click on temple wallet and boom, YouTube test is now connected to Calament and I can buy and sell NFTs that easily. Okay, there's also exchanges like QuippySwap and uh, some really cool stuff on the Tezos blockchain like Tezotopia and other things that you can play around with. That's in the DApp section right there. Now, this wallet also has a swap feature built in, so if you need to swap Tezos for something else, you absolutely can. You just select the token you wanna to swap it to, and you can do that right here with very little fees, pennies. And if you wanna send Tezos to somebody, that's the button you click, you would paste their address, and then type in the amount. Let's go back, let's go back again, and then let's go back to the collectibles. You see, this is the collectibles tab, this is the tokens tab, so you can see everything you own collectibles is where you can see all your nfts delegation is really interesting how delegation works is everybody that has tezos has voting rights on the blockchain so you can vote on how you want things to be changed whether you want them to be changed for good or for bad and everybody that has tez has a vote but you can only vote if you run a node and a bakery that means you have to have at least 8,000 Tezos. So most people don't have 8,000 Tezos, so they just wanna delegate their voting rights. And that's what you do here. You delegate your voting rights. You give your voting rights to a baker so they can vote on your behalf. And in exchange for giving them your voting rights with your Tezos, right, they will send you a rate of return. So they will send you, literally send you Tezos. Five and a half percent is the typical average. So let's click on delegation and show you how it works. So if you put in my Tezos address for delegation, which I'll leave below in the YouTube video for my bakery, you can give me your voting rights. You still keep your Tezos, but I will send you Tezos in exchange for giving me your voting rights. That's how new Tezos is created in the system. It's done through stakers and delegators. So it's a great way for you to earn passive income on your Tezos that's just sitting in your wallet. Everybody should delegate their Tezos to a baker that they respect and a baker who's going to uphold the ideations of the blockchain so that they will make sure that it continues to move forward in a positive direction. And that's why I started a baker. So I'll leave my Tez address below if you want to delegate your Tezos to me and start getting passive income income on it. Either way, pick anyone you want. I don't care. Just delegate your Tezos and play with the system and, and work with it to learn it. Activities where you're going to see all your past and present activity. Now, if you click up here, you can import your accounts, connect your ledger. Um, you can go to the settings tab. You can reveal your key. You can reveal your seed phrase. You can look at the networks, um, like the test networks versus the main nets, etc. You can do all kinds of neat stuff. Temple Wallet really is the best way, in my opinion, to enter the Tezos ecosystem, look at your NFTs, connect to websites, exchange stuff, find dApps. It's just the all around best solution in my mind. Now, if for any reason whatsoever, you were to um, deactivate your account or you um, lost it or whatever happened, you could go on any computer, any wallet, and you can use the seed phrase that you have written down and you can access your Tezos. So it doesn't always have to be Temple Wallet. It doesn't always have to be on this computer. It can be on any computer, any wallet that allows you to enter a seed phrase. That's why this phrase is so important. Remember, not your keys, not your crypto. So never show this phrase to anybody. So that's about it on Temple Wallet. That's all I have to teach you. It's a great system. I encourage you just to get in there, put a few Tez in there, um, jump around in the D apps, play around with it, delegate, get used to it. It is a wonderful ecosystem. It's very affordable. It's very fast. And I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Remember, if you need someone to delegate to, check the description. My link will be below. Have a great day. Keep educating and be good to future you.